Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 movie, Operation Finale. Now for those of you who don't know, Operation Finale is based off of the real life uh, Israeli mission of the same name to basically travel to Argentina and capture Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann. Now Adolf Eichmann was known as the architect of the Holocaust. He was basically in charge of everything and basically went about pretty much everything that happened with the genocide there. Um, he kind of orchestrated that. He basically put in uh, place the methods, so to speak, of how they went about. Um, now, he was basically able to escape uh, capture, and he uh, basically relocated, I believe, to Austria uh, first after the war. And basically, people found him and tracked him down, and he was able to somehow slip out again and was able to flee to Argentina. Um, now, this takes place, I believe, around 1960, if I remember correctly, when the film takes place. Um, basically, members of the Mossad get information um, basically suggesting that Adolf Eichmann is alive still and is living in Argentina under a fake name. And pretty much what the movie is about is about these special agents, uh, members of the Mossad, who basically go to Argentina to hunt down Adolf Eichmann track him down, capture him, bring him back to Israel for trial. Um, and it's a really interesting movie. It's a really good movie. I do I do want to say that as well. It's a good film. Now, it's not the best film I've seen all year. Um, it's not close. But it's by far nowhere near the worst film I've seen all year. It's a really good film. Um, it has a lot of really good things going for it. The acting is really good. Um, Oscar Isaac, as always, does a great job. Ben Kingsley um, was phenomenal. Ben Kingsley played Adolf Eichmann. Uh, he did a very, very good job. And I was really interested to see what they did with his character because obviously you have a person who has done horrible things and you have to play a person who's done horrible things. But they really were able to, especially with the writing as well, um, they were able to really humanize that character and make you, uh, I don't want to say necessarily feel for the character, but, you know, definitely relate in some ways, which I think is always good. You should always be able to relate to a character. Uh, that's what makes them a good character. Now, um, I do want to say, with that being said, uh, obviously Adolf Eichmann did horrible things, um, but I do really have to say uh, great job and great performance by Ben Kingsley. Um, I really liked Oscar Isaac's performance. I thought he did a really good job as Peter Malkin. Um, you know, it's not much to say about his character. His character was pretty straightforward. It's what I expected out of him. Uh, it was a good performance by Oscar Isaac. Um, actually, the surprise casting in this film, and surprisingly did a really good job, was Nick Kroll. Uh, I was not expecting Nick Kroll to be in this film. Um, he kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> he actually had a pretty major uh, role in the film, but he did a really good job. Um, and I'm surprised by that because Nick Kroll is not necessarily a actor known for his dramatic performances and his dramatic roles. Um, he's known as a comedian actor, uh, as well as kind of like an awkward uh, comic. Uh, that's kind of what I, I, I attribute to him anyway. But he did a really good job. I have to, I have to really give props to him. Uh, the casting was really good. The writing in this film is, is really good. Uh, cinematography was pretty good. Pacing was, uh, pacing wasn't bad, but it could have been a little bit better. Um, Overall, again, it's a really good film. I did have a few things with it that I had to knock it down points for. Um, there is a scene towards the end of the film with uh, Ben Kingsley, his character, Adolf Eichmann, where you basically just, things have been going on, going on, going on. You see what uh, Oscar Isaac's character has been doing, and then it just suddenly takes a very quick turn. And it's kind of expected, but at the same time, it was just very unnecessary. Um, I, I, I thought it was just kind of just like, oh, wow, we're going this route. Okay. Um, didn't necessarily think that was going to happen, but, you know, hey. Um, the other big thing I had a problem with in this film is that I feel that it's kind of missing something. Um, what, I, what I mean by that is this feels honestly like it was a film that was meant to be a Oscar bait film. It's supposed to be an Oscar movie. And while it's really good, it feels as though it's missing something. And I don't really know what that is, what it's missing. 
I feel like it just needed something else with the story, possibly. Um, maybe another development with one of the characters. I, I don't know. Um, it's it's not quite as good as some of the other films I've seen this year, namely Black Klansman, Annihilation, and uh, Searching. But it's not a bad film either. It is really good. Um, personally, for me, I think I would give it a 4.3 out of 5 stars. I, I do think it's a good film. Again, I think it has flaws. I think it has faults that bring it down, but I don't think it's a bad film by any means. Um, overall, I, th I think it's a film that, you know, see, I don't re I don't regret seeing in theaters, but I don't necessarily feel like I need to see it in theaters. If it's one of those films where I would say, wait till you wait for it to come out till the DVD and then rent it, I, I do recommend seeing it. It is very good, um, but. Not necessarily the best theater experience. I don't necessarily think you need to see it in theaters. It's not a movie, like a big blockbuster, where you know seeing it on the big screen is going to be, oh, wow, this is awesome. I really need to see this. Um, I, I just don't think it's one of those films. But it's not necessarily an Oscar film uh, where you want to go see it in theaters because you want to be able to say that you saw it in theaters or you want to see it on the big screen because it's just that good. Um, if, you, if you go to end up seeing it in theaters, I don't think you'll be disappointed. But it's a movie I'd say wait and rent on DVD when it comes out. Um, that's kind of my thoughts on Operation Finale though guys. Uh, if you guys like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the channel. As always, see you guys next time. Have a good time.